I got here Monday morning about 9.15 in the morning. We actually opened at 9, you know, but when I got here, uh, you know, they didn't let me park. They say that I had to move the car out of the area, you know, so I had to get out of the place, you know, so. Uh, Wheelchair was, was still open, you know, I was able to park right in front of the parking lot. But then, you know, a, a, a cop came over to me and he said that I had, I couldn't park there. And uh, I say, well, I work here and I need to, you know, get into my office. And he said that he didn't have time to argue with me, so he, he just kicked me out, told me to get out of the place. Yeah, yeah the cop told me, you know, I couldn't park there, and I said, well, I need to get into my office, I need to work, and he said that, uh, that he had no time to argue with me. Just flat out so I had, to, I had to leave, you know, I had no choice. Well, I had to go around the block to see where I could park, you know, so I couldn't find a, a spot to park, you know, be, uh, Wilshire area is very busy, so. And uh, what I did is I went to, to 7th Street, and I parked over there, you know. Okay. And I had to stay there and wait. I was waiting there to, to see if they were going to clear the area, you know. Because I needed to get to the office, you know. I needed to get to work, you know. I wasn't able. So about about 12, 31 o'clock p.m., you know, we talked to the boss, and the boss told us just to go home because we, we couldn't do nothing else, you know. And, uh, you know, those hostage situations could take long hours, so we were sitting down doing nothing, you know. So, so we had to we had to leave, you know. We, we we just left. We couldn't open, you know. So and uh, you know, it's just it's, uh, we we tried to stay and, and see what happened, but uh, you know, we were waiting since about nine fifteen. It was ten, eleven, twelve, twelve thirty, one o'clock. It was already almost four hours that we were waiting outside doing nothing. So we just had to. The boss told us to just you know go home, you know, right, right. because he was watching the news on, on the TV and. Uh, and he saw that, and he thought that there was a serious situation, so he asked us to leave. You know. Every single Monday we sell from 10000 to $12,000, every single Monday. And, and we, we, we just, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous, you know. I mean, uh, I thought that it was a bomb or something else uh, more serious. Uh, you know, that was a good reason to leave, but it was a, it was a joke, you know. And they didn't know. They didn't talk to no one. They, they just say they just ask us to leave. They didn't want to say anything about it. We just lost money. You know what I mean? You know I don't think we we can we can uh, like uh, this week. It's, it's a whole day lost because when customers come and they looking for the merchandise, Monday is the day they get all their supplies for the rest of the week. Uh, you know I'll say about seventy percent to eighty percent of them they just went somewhere else to get their supplies. Because they have to keep going, they have to work, you know. So, and, uh, so I don't think we can recover that. We cannot recover from that. This week, we're gonna be sure. I mean, we're gonna be short for sure, you know. So, it's no way to, I mean, for us to recover. They already went somewhere else to do their purchases. So. Oh, my name is uh, Daniel Rodas, right here, MCDN Electronics Incorporated. We do computer sales and wholesale. Our phone number is 213 you know. So we are right here in the corner of Wilshire and Vermont. Right, we're around, uh, almost one block away from where all the action took place. They lay the, they, no, I'm not. I'm coming afternoon, but am I to work her? They come in the open before 10 o'clock. And then uh, police stay, you know, we, uh, they can uh, open the store because in the sermon they injured the, some dead apartment. So they ask every one hour, can I open? They say no. Can I open? They say no. And then they, you know, they wait in two hours. So police stay, you know, they cannot come in inside. So we close Monday. But Monday, you know, we visit the Saturday busy, but on a Monday we best busy day on a weekdays. But anyway, police say cannot open, so my lady say, what can I do? So we not open. So we lost the Monday's money. Right. right. How much do you usually make on Mondays? Monday we usually make uh, maybe 1500 something like that. But uh, because they like they coming, they not working. But I have to pay them, so I lost the double money. Right? right? right. <laughs> yeah, so you that's didn't it. Uh huh. That's it. So I think maybe like a double money because we not pay the 
we not make it, we pay rent, we pay for employee, right? right? So I think we lost this money. So Monday uh, around the two o'clock, and uh, we, uh, I called them. They say and uh, we have to close because nobody opened. Anyway, not nobody opened. Police say and uh, we have to close. They say. But I don't know what the reason because next building has some happen, but I don't know why we close. Too much cover the police. They say and. Uh, Right. right? They just I know, any, but any they don't need it and we close, but I don't know why. So whatever they say, we cannot open, we close. That's it. My name, uh, Jung Suk Myung, uh, Berkshire Closing, 3170 Bishop Lovers. Oh yeah, two blocks, well the whole thing. And I can imagine that the, uh, uh, businesses that was, you know, down there, they probably hurt more because I could come in, but nobody come in to see me, you know. I got here like around, uh, must have been around 10 o'clock, 10, that's usually the time I get in. So when I came in, you know, I, I, I couldn't get in, I parked right there in shop, so I couldn't get to my parking lot, I had to, to go all the way around to Vermont Park, over there, hey, in Vermont, and then I just walk in the entrance here on Vermont side but there was absolutely no traffic here so no you know I couldn't get it on I, I had a couple of appointments with clients and they were I had to call them up and cancel them but well I was here I did some work little work I was here until about two and I just left because you know, I, I was afraid that somebody I didn't know what was going on and I kept asking going downstairs and asking the people what's going on nobody knew anything so when I went to the parking lot I saw some people Climbing up the, uh, the uh, you know, there's a big fence there, and trying to leave, you know, and they seem seemed like he's funny. So I thought that it was, it was uh, uh, something with immigration, that's what I thought it was. Uh, so I said, you know, I don't know who they're looking for, you know, but I just don't want to get on their way, you know, that I might put a bomb or something, and here I am, you know, so I just left. I left like around two. Oh, it was, everything was just dead, totally dead, like, you know. And I said, this is not going to get better any soon because I, sometimes, you know, you see this, you know, they close the streets, but an hour later or whatever, it's, everything is back to normal activity. So I said, forget, this is not going to happen that fast. So I just left. I went home. I felt a lot safer at home. No, no, they I couldn't ask the cops. There was no cops. I mean, there were some cops standing by the cars that were blocking uh, Wilshire here for a month. But I didn't ask them, I just asked the people, I said, what's going on, what's going on? And then I asked a fireman, because I saw this big fire truck parked right by where I went to get my car. And he says, you know, I don't know, whatever, you know, they just, they seem to not know anything. So yeah, they don't tell you anything. So I thought it was like either a, an immigration thing, you know, something like that, or undercover work, or something. It had to be something big. That's what I thought. It had to be something big, because... There were so many fire trucks and so many police cars and so much secrecy and everything that I don't forget it, you know. My name is Jeanette Rodriguez. I do income tax, immigration, uh, I do different types of, of, uh, of uh, works in proper persona, like divorce in proper persona, chapter 7 in proper persona, stuff like that. I also work with an attorney. 213-383-2270.